Stop everything that you're doing because I have created an IVR system using Go High Level and Air AI, and I'm going to showcase so you can replicate this for your clients or for your own business. If you like content like this, don't forget to leave your like. Check if you are a subscriber of this channel. If you're not, subscribe right now, and also make sure to enable the notifications so you're notified every time there's a new video. Editor, play the intro. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Lucas Dentis here, bringing another content about Go High Level, and today I'm going to showcase this IVR system I have designed using Go High Level automations that will allow you to specify an automated message, and then based on what people will type in, you are able to direct them to a specific agent, to a specific user, to an external number, whatever you want to do, you're able to do here with this IVR system. And to do this i created this ivr trigger based on the number so whenever i receive a call this is going to trigger then i add an automated message so i say hello and then it's going to get the contact first name so if you have this contact in the system you will automatically capture their information and that's going to be said on the voice that's going to be automated and then you're going to say press one to talk to sales press two to talk to support and here we have the branches you see so if they click on sales if they click one in this case I'm going to play a message. Thank you for taking interest in our solution. We'll connect you with the salesperson now. And then we have this action connect call. In this case, I'm putting my Skype number and I'm going to demonstrate to you so you know how that looks like. But you can add a user here. You can connect the call with the user and also using other external numbers here as well. Let's, let's test this out so you can see how that works. Hello, thanks for calling Magnetic Enterprises. Press one to talk to sales, press two to talk to support. So I'm gonna press one to enable the first branch Thanks here. For taking interest in our solution. We will connect you with a salesperson now. And then my Skype is going to ring. You see? And then when I pick up, I'm going to start talking. And this makes no sense anymore because I'm talking with myself. So I'm going to end this call. All done. But at least you understood how this can be used for your business. You can specify all the departments you have. And then you can connect them with the right person based on the input that the lead takes on during the call. And to make this more interesting, I've done something that I'm going to show you guys now. So I have been exploring this tool called Air AI, which is a tool that allows you to make calls using artificial intelligence and I'm, I'm even going to show to you here how it works uh first first of all i'm not endorsing air ai here i'm just showcasing this because i love technology and i know this is going to be the future however we are not there yet i have tested this solution with a friend like two months ago and i've seen it how it works now it's definitely better but it's still not there yet it's not to a level that you can absolutely trust this working for your business 24 7. and also there are regulations that you need to take into consideration before you use this like for example do not do outbound calls for cold leads. Do not do that. Please don't do that. Otherwise, you can be sued by the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, and that's not going to be cheap. Your business will hurt if you do that. So don't do that. If you do use Air AI, please do in inbound calls for now or if you do outbound calls make sure that you have contacted those people these people are well like they will be acceptable with the calls that you're making to them but other than that i would advise you to do inbound calls and that's kind of similar to the ivr test that we've done minutes ago which is an artificial intelligence voice that's automatically answering people and that's just a bot so it's not a big deal Anyway, with that being said, I just want to showcase that I have created this agent. This is a support agent. This is more to showcase what this tool is capable of doing. So I have created this map, like this script. So I asked what type of problems people are having. This is just like a basic support agent. So I'm asking what type of problem they're having, if it's with automation, virtual assistant, live chat bot. And here I have branches. So if People saying that the automation is not triggering. Make sure to check the triggers, correct? You know, so this is just like basic steps, you know, like the first level support agent will do. So let's check this, how this work in practice. Because I have the automation here. What I have done is whenever people click on two, which is the support number, I'm going to play the message. This message is going to be like, 
all of our agents are busy now and we will call you soon and we will connect well we won't connect because this is not possible yet so what will happen is the phone call will end and then air ai will call the lead automatically and we will see how that call looks like okay so let's do this to see how air ai will perform okay we're ready to start testing our ai support agent but before i just want to go over a few changes i had to make to this automation so it works so what we cannot do in inside of go high level is to connect an air ai agent using the connect call action like we have done with my skype number or like you would be able to do with any user of the system but we can still tell them that all of our agents are busy and then we'll call them soon. So that's how the workaround works here. I know it's not ideal, but like I said, I feel like this feature is still like in beta mode, but it will get better. And I know that soon we'll be able to connect a call so the agent can jump in an existing call without us having to end a call and then having the agent calling the lead again. But this is just a demonstration, guys. So don't get too mad. So here we have the end IVR call, we have the say or play message, and we have the custom webhook that we have to use. This is on the Air AI documentation, the token you can get from your own account. And then we also need to specify here the ID of the agent, just like close bot or order, just like the calendar on go high level. Each element has its own ID. So here we have this unique ID for the bot. So when the call is picked up, so when the call is made, it's that exact bot, that specific bot that's going to take over the call. So in this case, we have a support agent that's going to be handling this call. Let's see now how this actually works. Hello, thanks for calling Magnetic Enterprises. Press 1 to talk to sales. Press 2 to talk to support. So I'm pressing 2 to talk with support. Got it. As of now, all of our agents are busy, but we will call you soon. So now the call has been ended, and now I'm going to receive a call from Air AI, receiving right now, and I'm going to put on speaker mode. Hey, this is John Doe, tech support with Magnetic Enterprises. What are the issues you are having? I'm having issues with my virtual assistant. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me more about the issues you're experiencing with your virtual assistant? It's not responding to calls. Got it. Is your virtual assistant not responding to calls at all, or is it only happening with specific calls? Just trying to understand the situation better. So we're here, still here. It's not working with any calls. I see. That must be frustrating. Can you please provide me with the bot number so I can look into this further for you? There you go. You see, like, it it works well. You know, like, it, 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 it follows all the instructions. So I have set up a bot to ask what type of issue we're having. And then I say my virtual assistant having, is having problems. So it knows what you do next. But the thing is, you need to build the whole script here. And, and that's why I'm saying this is better for a first level support, because then you can come up with easy answers here. And if it's anything more complex, you can use the action to live transfer here on AI. But like I said, I'm not endorsing Air AI. If you want to explore, go ahead and, and, and try it. I don't even have an affiliate link. So you go ahead and try. Uh, it's $97 for you to start testing this. You, I think you can have a trial account and test for, I think, two or three calls. But anyway, I just want to go back to the IVR automation because here is where the most important thing is. I was just showcasing what the future looks like for Go High Level in AI calls, but don't forget anything I said in the previous uh, minutes about not recommending you to do outbound calls for leads. I will recommend you to do inbound calls because that's going to be safer for your business. But let's go back to the IVR because I want to show exactly how you can set up this so you can replicate for your clients and also do this. Now let's go deep into this automation so you are able to replicate this for your clients or your own business. So the first thing that we use here is the IVR trigger. I have already told you guys, all the numbers that you have added to high level, it's here. Of course, you need to go to the HUP process in order to have those numbers here. I have a video here in this channel that show how to get through the HUP process. And then you're going to use the gather input on call. On the gather input on call, you have two options. You can either use, specify play a message or say a message. If you do say a message, you can personalize the message even using uh, information from the contact like I'm doing here, you see? But you can also do play message. In this case, you can upload your own voice, your own audio. You know, you record a voice and then you're able to specify this on this step on the automation. 
of course that you're not able to customize like we are able to do with the same message here like the contact first name but it's a way to personalize your message so it's your own voice and not just a random automated voice other than that you can specify if the message is going to be men or women, I would go to language, but the only option is English. I have told everyone that we're only able to do this in English for now, but I hope that in the future we're able to do this in Spanish, in Portuguese, or any other language. The other option, you have the number of loops. This is the amount of times the message will be repeated, but I would not recommend doing more than one because if you listen to the message, it gets played right after, you know, like it doesn't give enough time for people to actually listen, process the message, and then uh, type in the, the right department. It goes right after the, uh, like, it goes immediately after the first message ends, the immediately it starts another one. So it's not a very good experience in this case. Then you do the math conditions. You can specify what keys you want people to press and where they are going. You create the branches here. In the last step here, advanced settings, you can stop gathering after seconds, which means that you're giving this amount of time for people to specify what option they want to select. Go high level asks you to choose between five to 30 seconds. I'm choosing 10 seconds. 10 seconds is enough time for someone to listen to a message, understand and press the whatever key they need to press. And also you have the stop gathering on key press. This is uh, the example that I can think for this is if you, well, you have an automated message, but then if people click on, if people click on the nine, type, type in, tap on the nine, it connects them with the human. And then if people click on nine, the message won't even be played until it's, until it's, the, until the end, you know, it will automatically cut them and send them to the human agent or whatever you specify as the branch for nine. You know, so this is another feature that you can use and stop gathering after digits. So, and then high level will not be uh, monitoring for new activity, for new button presses. Okay, so this is basically it that you'll be using. And the other thing you can be using is, of course, that you'll be using is the connect a call. And like I said, you can connect with the user or even an external number if that's how you do it. So that's basically it. From now on, you'll be able to, to create a whole system here, an automated system to handle your calls. And you can specify different departments so people are directed to the right agent, to the right users, to the right employees that you have. So I hope you like this content. If you do like content like this, please leave your like on this video. Check if you're a subscriber of this channel. If you're not subscribed right now, and make sure to enable notifications so you're notified every time there's a new video. Guys, I see you on the next one.